Hey friends, it's Robert. So happy new year. January is always a fresh start and it's a great time to start thinking about projects and activities you wanna tackle in the new year. Lately, I have been thinking a lot about letter writing and I'm not talking about emails or text messaging. I'm talking about old school snail mail that you actually send through the post office. Following the holidays, I have a lot of thank you notes to write, but I wanna send my correspondence in a way that's a little clever and creative. So today I'm gonna to share with you the DIY that I came up with. We are gonna be making image transfer wood postcards. So let's get started. Now for this project, you're going to need to go to your craft or hobby supply store for a couple of materials. The first thing you'll need is the wood that we'll be making the postcards out of, and then you'll need the material that allows you to transfer any image onto that wood. Now most hobby supply stores will have wood in a couple of different varieties. You'll likely find a thin plywood, basswood, or balsa wood. All of these are usually used for model making and they would work fantastic for this project. I'm gonna go with the basswood because it's incredibly lightweight and it's soft enough that I can cut it with either a utility knife or a box cutter. I'm gonna be cutting my wood into four by six inch pieces and then lightly sanding it all over. Now you'll also have some options with the material that's used to transfer the images. You can use something called a gel medium. It's found in the painting supply section or Mod Podge also makes its own image transfer solution and that's what I'm going to be using. Once you have those materials in hand, you'll need to select the images that you'd like to transfer onto your postcard. And here you have a world of options. You can use black and white or full color, family photographs, Instagram photographs, or even artwork that you or perhaps even your child have created. What I'm gonna be doing is repurposing images from old postcards that I've collected. I've got some fantastic views of New York in this bright Technicolor. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you wanna make certain that your images are sized appropriately for your postcard. I had to scan mine into my computer and enlarge them slightly. And then the next step is really important. You need to make photocopies of your images. Most of us have inkjet printers at home and unfortunately those prints won't work for this project. You need to have copies made on a machine that uses a toner cartridge. And this is typically what you'll find at your copy center, office supply store, or even the public library. Once you have those images in hand, we're ready to transfer them onto the postcard. Apply a liberal amount of the transfer medium onto the top of the wood and spread it out using a foam brush. You wanna try and get a thick, even layer. Then take the side that's covered in the solution and press it down onto the face of your image. Flip it over and lightly burnish the back to remove any bubbles or wrinkles. Now set it aside and you're going to need to allow this to dry for 24 hours or at least overnight. Once your postcard is completely dry, we're gonna take some water in a spray bottle and spray the paper. You'll see the water soak in and the image slightly appear. Then using a rag or a sponge, gently begin to rub that paper away. Once the paper is completely removed, you'll see that the image has completely transferred to the face of the wood. Once the postcard is dry, it's ready to use. You can flip it over and address it and write a note to the recipient. I found that ballpoint pens actually work best with this type of wood. Now you wouldn't necessarily think that you could send a piece of wood through the postal system, but you totally can. Depending on the size and weight, it'll probably cost a little bit more than a regular paper postcard. So be certain to take it into your local post office to have it weighed. I do hope you'll give this project a try. I can guarantee the recipients are gonna love them and they're gonna end up displayed on their desks, their bookshelves, or even their walls. Now, if you haven't done so already, I wanna invite you to subscribe to my own channel by following the link in the video description below for more great DIYs. Thank you so much for watching and please join me again next time.